Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, hey. My name is Veronica Burton. I'm a 26 year old that is in the middle of moving and my life is a chaotic mess. Love it. Anyway, this is a moving vlog. It's a vlog where we catch up, where we chit chat. We have not talked in so long. I've taken you to do really fun things. We've gone to Montana. We spent a few weeks out there. We did all this stuff. We're moving, we're grooving. And now my life, everywhere I look, empty paper towel rolls, boxes that are half packed, stack of boxes over there, crazy stuff I pulled out of the cupboards over here on the desk, haven't seen that stuff in years. Yeah, it's a little disorienting, I'm very disoriented. And this vlog is just gonna kinda take you through a week of moving with me. Like, I think I have three days of footage and such of just what my life has looked like moving and it's been very raw, it's been very real. I also give you guys some health updates that I have been facing, um, and I get very vulnerable and honest about what is going on in my body that is terrifying me. But nevertheless, sorry for deleting the beginning of this vlog on accident. I ran out of memory on my SD card and I was going through to see what I could delete to make room for the rest of my filming, and I accidentally deleted the first video for this vlog that I filmed. So it wasn't much, it was literally in the same position just chatting about what to expect in the vlog. But it's a moving vlog, it's also a catch up vlog, it's just regular life with me as we move. And I just wanna say I have a newfound appreciation for people that move out of large scale houses over a bedroom. I've only ever moved out of one beds and like when I was small with my parents, but I didn't really do much. Like I just packed stuff in boxes and I just, it's a lot, it's a lot. And moving out of our house and Luke has lived here. It's a three story townhouse. He's lived here for five years and there's just a lot accumulated that has never been purged. So we're doing a full house purge while also packing and moving. So. It's been a lot, it's been a lot to deal with and it's one that I'm very grateful to be dealing with and I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this for so long. Like I've wanted to move into a house that's Luke and I's and I've always felt like this is my home but there's something about purchasing and moving into a home that you choose together that is so special and moving into Luke's townhouse was really special in itself but I wasn't there at the beginning and it's just awesome to be doing this together now. So all that to say, it's a little bit of chaos in this vlog and you're gonna just come along and see it and it's gonna be so fun because we're doing it together. Um, but I really hope that you enjoy it. This is just what my life is like and you guys are tagging along. So enjoy the ride. Bed, disaster, laundry, overflowing it's clean though so let me give you some updates today is march don't know i think it's the 20th it is march 20th and 21st and we move march 30th this house needs to be packed i'm starting to slowly bring things over to the new house like paintings lamps etc just things that i can move in the car by myself but i'm not moving furniture and such just paintings that I'm very cautious of. But we are in the midst of, we're in throws. And let me update you on some things that have been going on. I had a little bit of a scare. Um, I, I'm still going kind of through it and it's kind of raw. So I don't really know what's gonna come out of my mouth right now. Washing my face. I love this face wash y'all. I already told you about it before, but it's the restoring cleanser oh shit oh my gosh so when i'm referring to my little health scare i don't know if i filled you guys in on this but i'm scared out of my mind and i've just been like praying like no other over this all right so when I, i'm gonna tell you guys a little story time when i was 13 I was 12 or 13, I don't remember. I was, I was in middle school, so I think I was 12. When I was going through like the throes of puberty and I'm just starting to kind of like get my period, figure out what the heck was going on, like hormones, 
My ovary decided to grow a cyst, my right ovary. And that cyst decided to become large and angry and I experienced ovarian torsion where my ovary twisted in my body three times, cut off blood circulation to that ovary, killed said ovary, and I had to be rushed into emergency surgery. The, the cyst was 15 centimeters long, which, let's ask Google how big that is. Hey Google, how many inches is 15 centimeters? 15 centimeters is equivalent to 5.906 inches. Holy shit, that's like half a foot. I did not know it was that big. That's something that's like, that's like this big. Holy shit, I didn't know that. For some reason, the conversion just didn't happen in my mind. Anyway, the thing was huge. And I have one ovary, my left ovary. Luke and I want to have kids. We are at the point where we're not like actively trying, trying, trying. Like I'm not peeing on a stick to see at what hour I'm ovulating, whatever. Like I'm just tracking my cycles and we're trying kind of. And this just happened. We have just let go of the reins two weeks ago. And I know this is a lot of information, but I don't really have anything to hide. So basically I last week, um, this is going to be TMI again, but I felt a little bit of a presence on my left over. And of course that scared the bejesus out of me. So I got an appointment with my OBGYN and they did an ultrasound and lo and behold, I have a cyst on my left ovary. It's only two centimeters, super small. It's so minute. I've gotten two opinions, very small, not big enough to act on, but it is not a follicular cyst. It's either a dermoid cyst or a, I forget what, an endometriosis kind of cyst. It has blood in it. So we don't really know what is happening there. All we know is we want it to not grow and best case scenario, we want it to go away. And I am, we're doing another ultrasound in six weeks, but now that I know it's there, it's like I can't stop feeling it and I'm just terrified that it's growing, growing, growing and that it's gonna kill this ovary and we won't be able to have kids because they won't be able to save the eggs. And I am scared out of my ever loving mind. It is starting to consume my thoughts I'm having to kind of play damage control with myself and just really lean on my faith at this time um, in terms of, you know, I'm a practicing Christian. I truly believe that God has a plan for whatever is going on right now. And I have to just lean into that and just c commune with him and speak to him and really lean on that relationship and not try to alienate myself from it because it, it's very easy for me to just kind of shut everybody out and not want to talk about this. So that's the latest update on my health. Other than that, we've been moving, moving, moving. We went to Montana for two weeks. As you guys know, we have a rental property out there and we went out to kind of take care of the rental property. We got some things done for it, um, made sure it was still looking good for the end of the ski season out there in Montana. Um, we had to make some updates, talk to the property managers, etc upkeep and then we had like a little like a week of fun we had friends come in town and it was just really special hosting people in this place that we have only we've dreamed of this place like this is literally a dream come true this is an answer prayer for us that we get to experience this and let others in our life experience it so I'm very excited to bring my family out there eventually. Luke and I have been talking about that a lot. Like, I feel like we haven't really had a trip out West with my family um, other than our wedding. And I love the West and I just want to bring them. So we're going to do that soon probably. Um, and other than that, it's just been a lot of just life movements. You know, the furniture biz, that's a whole other update. Let me chat about it. So, Basically, if you're new here, I run a used furniture business and it's new and I have made a little bit of mistakes over the last couple of weeks or the last couple of months. 
I basically have been buying furniture for the wrong reasons. And you might ask, well, what does that mean? The furniture, I have a few pieces right now. I like them. I wouldn't put them in my own house. That's a problem. That's a red flag for me. So I put them on sale. I'm not gonna make a profit off them, which is gonna hurt me, but I need to move them out because I do have some pieces that I've gathered that are currently in the basement of the new house that I'm excited about, that I love, that I think people will like. They're, it's unique, haven't seen any, anything like them before. And that's the kind of stuff I need to do. And I started buying pieces that I was not excited about because there is this vendor in the market that I'm in that they're truly amazing. They're so talented. It's a, it's a group, it's a two girls, um, women actually, they're older. And they travel to like France and London and all this to like get their vintage stuff. And I'm here comparing myself to them. And in reality, that is, we're not even playing on the same field. We're not even, we're not even on the same page. I'm doing something completely different for them. And for so long, I was playing that comparison game, like, oh my gosh, their stuff is so much better than mine. I have to rush and find stuff to compete against theirs. And I was getting stuff that I wasn't excited about. And I was like, what am I doing? So I had to have a little come to Jesus with myself of I need to take a chill pill and I am my own competitor. It's me versus me. And I don't have to like, get flustered by what other people are doing and it's so easy to look at somebody else and compare yourself against them and be like well they're doing so much better well why am i not so anyway comparison game was overtaking my mind and i realized no no more i am living my own life at my own pace and this is my path and nobody else is going to look at my life and be like, well, she's not as good at blah, blah, blah as this other person. I'm my own individual. And even if they do do that, that's their own problem. So I have had this newfound realization that I'm doing my own thing. And I know that's kind of like obvious, but for me, I felt like I was living that out, but I really wasn't. And I did the same with YouTube. I was very critical of myself over the last few weeks. That's why I have not posted because I, like I've told you guys, I just feel like my content isn't good enough. And what the hoot? I just have to do what I love to do. And I love making videos and I love talking to you guys. I love having a community. So I just gotta keep doing that. I'm a little fired up right now because I don't know why. I think it might be the coffee. I don't know, but this is what I'm gonna wear for tennis today. We're gonna wear our little brown leggings that I'm obsessed with. I bought a second pair and they came with a little issue on the back, like some of the, whatever this is, the threading was pulled. I emailed them about it. I really hope they email me back because I am a loyal Vitality customer and I don't know, that just kind of upset me when I walked to the gym and Luke was like, oh, why is that pulled? I don't know. So, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna just wear a black sports bra and then a Lululemon blue pullover top. So let's get dressed. That's so cool. Do I have to do my little vlogs. You vlog?
All right, hello everybody. We're about to go drop this rug off. It's much later. It's about 5.09. Just took my ritual prenatal multivitamin, then my Nutrafol. I only take three at a time. Serving size is four. I do three. My dermatologist says it works just the same. Mom, if you're watching this, look what I'm wearing. She got me this pendant that has Luke and I on it. It's so pretty. And then earlier today, I chugged my powders, my green powders. Um, I love it. So good. I got the passion fruit flavor. I'm a big fan of like the mango, whatever it's called, the other one. Um, but still really good. And yummy. We're going to go drop this rug off and then we have Lydia's play tonight. So Lydia is Luke's youngest sister. She's a senior in high school and it's the opening night of her play. So we're going to go and support. Very excited to see. So let's go also i did not address my like mental breakdown earlier yeah let's let me address that while i put some of this lip stuff on um so earlier i was listening to like worship music and just getting like really in my head of freaking out a little bit over the ovary thing and then realizing this is like the lord's plan for me whatever it may be and i know that sometimes people overuse that term like this is god's plan but his plan has always been greater than mine and it has always 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 been greater than mine even when i don't get what i want immediately and i see how it unfolds i'm like whoa this is way greater than i could have ever imagined and i just have to have faith that this is going to be the same circumstance like the same thing will happen with this circumstance whether it's what i want or not in this moment so let's get in the car and go but yeah i put that in there just because that was just really raw and emotional and it's real because i'm just going through a little bit of a turbulent time it's nothing bad but moving and getting told that news and then also dealing with business not going as planned like it's just a lot of emotions are swirling around in my mind and i just kind of had to let a release so that's what happened um but yeah let's go ahead and go packing went pretty well today but i didn't do as much as i thought i could do because i can't really pack some stuff without luke's help womp womp Good morning everybody i just realized that i deleted two of my videos of starting this vlog <laughs> are you kidding me um so yeah that the beginning of my vlog just got axed um probably for a reason i don't know what that reason is but whatever all right everybody we are at the gym so i'm gonna go hit a quick workout i don't know if i'm gonna bring you or not because i don't have my little camera but then we are going to run some errands and then i have to work at home so Let's get this day started. We're back from the gym making a little smoothie real quick okay so this is like my go-to smoothie obsession i hope that this isn't too tilted you're on a weird surface but basically i just add some almond milk and usually this is like my montana smoothie because i get these ingredients when i go to big sky and this is my smoothie that i make in the mornings then we get blueberries do a banana i usually like to freeze my bananas just because they make the consistency of the frozen banana in the smoothie is really really good so i like when they're frozen i'm gonna do your scoops before blueberries because the blueberries taint my hands so i'm using this ghost protein i'm not a fan i'm just using the rest of it i don't like the ghost protein and i've tried another ghost product and i just don't like the ghost product so i honestly don't recommend 
um, after getting through like almost a whole tub of this. I'm gonna try out the Truvani protein that I mentioned to y'all um, next. It's super clean and I really like just chocolate flavor. I'm using the rest of my first form collagen. Powder is actually just released to collagen. I'm excited to try that, but I'm gonna finish this up next first. I'm gonna do some oops, in here. And then we mix. And then I don't have the top to this. <laughs> so I just put my hand. All right, let's see how this is. I hope it's good. Cause it's not the same protein that I use in Montana. Straw. Not as good. The ghost protein kind of ruins it. It's too like strong of a flavor. How weird. Hmm. I'm gonna drink it anyway, but that's disappointing. The chocolate flavor is like way too strong on that. It's like a, not a good chocolate flavor either. It's like a malty flavor. So there goes that. All right, everyone. We have been packing nonstop. I packed some in the garage. I packed decor items up here. I packed just anything I could, anything I touched, I either put in the trash, donate, or in a box. So that's kind of my strategy right now is before I had a different, slower approach, but now it's like anything that I put in my hand has to go in one of those piles. So right now we're gonna do some of the pantry. Luke and I have a full day of packing tomorrow. So I'm not gonna go a little bit beyond this, but a lot of where we're at um, is just the frustrating things where, I, I don't know how to describe it, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but it's like you kind of reach a point where you're like, I have no idea what to do. Like I know there's some things to do, but I'm not sure what to do. Um, so that is my current status and I'm gonna watch some Megan Grubb. Um, yeah, my favorite YouTubers to watch right now. I love when my favorite YouTubers tell me their favorite YouTubers, I just think it's fascinating and I get new people to watch, but I've been loving Alia Zaita, or Alia Zaita. I'm totally pronouncing her wrong, name wrong, I'm so sorry, um, but she is really good. I really enjoy her. Elena Tabor. Um, Michelle Reed is back. I love Michelle. If you guys didn't know, Michelle is the reason why I got into YouTube. Like she's literally the reason why I started YouTubing. And I love Michelle. So happy she's back. She just had a baby. He is so darn cute. And her vlogs are just, I tear up thinking about her vlogs or when I watch some moments of her vlogs because I know how sweet it is when she's going to watch back or how sweet it's going to be when she watches those vlogs back. And then additional vloggers, JC Marie. I really like JC. Um, she's going through a little bit of a tough time right now. She and her husband went through two rounds of IVF um, and they conceived on their second try. And right now she is going through some moving difficulties. So I'm definitely gonna be thinking about her and I hope that, you know, she, gets through it and that it works out because they're renovating like com they completely gutted and extended this house they bought they're in this current rental and their landlord was like hey i need you to move out in two months and it's literally on her due date and she's like w i thought i was gonna live here until our other house was ready and now you're telling me i have two months and i'm literally gonna be giving birth honestly it could be any second um so i really feel for her but we're gonna clean this pantry out then we're gonna shower. I have to go get a gift for Luke's, one of Luke's best friends and our best, one of our best couple friends, Adam. It was his birthday on Tuesday and we love Adam and Nina. And um, I'm gonna go buy my favorite coffee shop that I get literally all my gifts from. Um, it's called Tuesdays, it's up the street. And they just have this amazing gift section for a coffee shop. And I go in there more often to get gifts and coffee. The coffee's good, but the gifts are great. I really recommend. Anyway, I'm gonna pack this up. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going through a lot of this right now and it's all stuff that we use. And the only reason why it's like that is because I recently went through it probably three months ago and purged just, I continually have, that. that's the one thing I've been good at is the pantry. Even though it looks like a mess, I've been good about continually looking and seeing if we use the stuff or not. So if you are in a question mark, like this has been open for, I don't even know how long, like months. And I don't know, you just, it's stale. It absorbs moisture and stuff in the air and then it can grow things. And we don't want that. We don't want to eat that. So I highly recommend, like if you continually keep up little things, they do make it easier for when you have to, <laughs> okay. But that's not the goal. The goal for this next place is not to move. I don't want to move for a while. Y'all, we are about to leave and I look like the hatch sling and slasher or whatever is on SpongeBob. Like, look at the fit. What, what is this? I am in survival mode like no other, but the thing is, I do this really funny thing where when I am in like that mode, I wear the craziest stuff. Like I wear like really weird outfits, um, usually always paired with like a sweater, like as so, and weird sweatpants. But for some reason, I'm always wearing like all my jewelry. It's <laughs> elevated not casual like bad um okay so we are going to run a couple errands i have 50 minutes so i'm gonna go by the coffee shop like i mentioned then i'm gonna go by kroger because adam actually likes folgers so i'm gonna get him folgers and gummy worms luke got him a gift that he is like a custom gift. It's a picture that he took of Adam skiing and he got it framed and like, I don't know what he did, but Luke is really great with gifts. So he got him that, but it doesn't come till next week. So this is just like an in-between. It's Adam's 30th, so it's a big birthday and I want him to feel celebrated. So we're gonna do that. And then I am gonna go to the house and you guys are gonna see the house. So I'm gonna walk you through it. If you've made it this far, you're a real one and you deserve to see the house even if it is literally in destruction right now like there is painters tarp everywhere there the crawl space guys just finished up but it's just still a very much work in progress so you guys are gonna go see the progress and see it for the very first time and then i'm excited you're gonna see it painted and i am so sad I'm really regretful of not taking you guys through before it was painted because it was like a builder white and it's hard to imagine what a house look like looks like before it was painted. It's just, I don't know, but hopefully you like the colors I chose because they're really cute and they took me forever to choose. I literally went through, I'm going to show you guys, over 30 samples. So let's go run these errands. You're at the bar right now. Don't you love this little area? So everyone, welcome in. This is the first glimpse of the house that you guys are seeing. And as you can tell, this is the living area and it is just gorgeous. Let's do a little walkthrough, shall we? This is how many paint samples I got. I'm out of control. So this is my, one of my favorite parts of the house. The backyard is amazing. So you walk in through the garage and then there's a little mud area. And here's the kitchen that opens into a living room. The kitchen is of course beautiful. Random chair. I sit in there and do work when there's just people working here and I have to be here. But the kitchen is some of one of my absolute favorite parts of the house. You know you've made it when you have your little pot um, 
filler. I love that. And this part is so beautiful, but there's still like tarp down and stuff. I just painted in here. And I did Faro and Balls French gray at 50% in the kitchen and dining, and then 25% in the living and hallway area. We keep going. I love this room. I love the color so much. It's not as green as our house now, which I really appreciate, but it's more of like a gray neutral tone. You come through here and here's the dining room. The dining room is gonna, we're gonna put trim up on the walls, which I'm really excited for. And then you go in here. This is a study. Look at all my paint samples. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at all the paint samples. Isn't that hilarious? I ended up going with a very similar one to the one that I have now in the house. And it is this one. It's Smokestack by Bear, but we get it replicated at Sherwin, um, and I'm really excited for that. It looks amazing. We also painted the trim. It looks really good. Not the baseboard, though. So, walking through the house, walking through the house. Oh my gosh, the light pictures are amazing. I'm gonna do a full house tour some other time, but I want to show you. I'm excited. So this room is the primary guest bedroom. It's called Uncertain Gray. Luke picked this color out and it's so pretty. I'm very excited for what we're going to put in this room. It's going to be very moody, but here's the bathroom. Oops. The bathroom got painted floor de sole. A lot of my paint in the rooms have been floor to sill, but this is the most beautiful bathroom. Like, are you kidding me? It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm excited to have guests come and stay here. It's going to be an amazing experience for them because right now it looks like they're going into the Harry Potter room when they come to stay. Okay. So in this room, actually we painted the ceiling pink. You can't really tell, but you can tell now. Oh, you can really tell on the camera, but it's like a pink and then it meets French gray over here. And it's so moody. So I love, love, love. I really love the pink because I feel like it adds so much warmth to the room. And then the, it just looks so good. And that's a bronze, this is a bronze um, fixture. So it looks really good with it. But yeah, I hope that you like my house. I love my house. I'm so excited to live here. I feel like it's kind of been a project for the past, I don't know, two months. And I, every time I come here, I'm like managing things and managing people, managing teams. Um, and I just really am excited to come here and not have to manage teams and such and find this as like a place of relaxation in my home. So I'm excited to like move in and live here. And I feel like this has just been like a project in my mind. Cause every time I come here, I'm in project mode, but I'm excited to be in living mode. You know what I mean? So we love a pink ceiling. Looks so good. And we're gonna head home and get ready for Adam's party. Good morning, everybody. It is the next morning. It's about 8 a.m. and I'm a little bit late to go open the garage for the guys. Um, as you know, we're painting, so we're finishing up our painting. I think they're gonna finish today or on Monday. They take tomorrow off or at least I literally was like, you guys are not allowed to work on my house on a Sunday. <laughs> so um, they are just doing their thing and it looks so good. I went and stopped in yesterday evening um, to lock up and it looks so good, guys. Like, I'm really excited. But today we are just packing all day. I literally woke up, brushed my teeth and got in the car. Like I'm still in my pajamas. You know, it's allergy season when I have a tissue just on standby. So we are packing all day today. I let Luke sleep in, even though he wanted me to wake him up, 
because he's been waking up at five every morning for work and he is so tired. So I'm gonna go home and like make coffee and breakfast and then I'm gonna get him up. Um, just cause I feel like he, he deserves to be treated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he just needs, he needs a little bit of love when it comes to the morning times cause he has a little bit of PTSD right now. So we're about to go open up the house and then we're gonna start packing. Also, I don't know if you can see, but spring is in full effect, even though it looks poopy outside and it's cloudy, all the trees are starting to get leaves on them again. And it just makes me so happy. Spring is actually one of my favorite seasons. Summer is my number one, but spring is, I get so excited and so giddy during spring and I just love it. All right, y'all, this is the master bedroom color. It looks really dark because all the lights are off, but it's green. It's so green, I love it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It looks really green on camera, but it's really not that green when you are in here. These are the lights, so it looks like that. I love it, it looks so good. We're gonna do baseboards as well. So they're gonna come in and spray those next. It's just, it's kind of surreal to me that this is happening. Um, and green is so different than our other color. As you guys know, in my house right now, it's like super, super warm in our room. And we have so many trees outside that I just really wanted it to be that kind of green. Um, but it's gonna look really good with all of our bronze finishes and our really light bed. And I wanna put a really light rug in here. So the rug is gonna be what opens it from the floor up. And then the ceiling is remaining this color. It's an alabaster white. Um, so that will also kind of help open it up. But I'm gonna have a really light color chair in the corner as well. But one thing that I have been toying with is I don't have a space right now for that mustard couch that you guys know I love. And um, yeah, I don't really know. Hmm. I don't really know where that mustard couch is gonna go. And I kind of want to see what it's going to look like in here, in that corner, because I feel like it would look really good. But at the same time, I don't know if I really want that yellow in here. I think it would maybe clash with the green. But I'm going to see what it looks like. No harm in seeing what it looks like. I can move it anytime. Um, but yeah, so this room I think is done. And it looks really, really good. And I'm excited to move in. <sighs> You guys, this is so exciting. Um, what kind of stuff do you want to see from the move? Like, I never know what to film. I mean, like, I don't know, like it's kind of a mess right now. I don't know what they would want to see. <laughs> so definitely let me know, but they started painting my office. I'm gonna go show you guys. Um, I think it'd be really pretty. On camera, this looks a lot greener than it does because in person, it's a dark, forest green, not Crayola green. And on camera, it kind of looks Crayola green. But in person, it is not Crayola green. Don't be scared, y'all. It looks good. You gotta trust me. You gotta trust me. I spent hours picking out these paint colors. room is gonna have the i'm doing that thing where color drip like i literally just dunk the whole room in color i don't <laughs> my awesome painters do and they are making it the ceiling the baseboards the crown molding molding everything is going to be that color and i'm really excited because the lamps and the lighting that i have planned for this room are going to look really good and i have really bright artwork and I'm gonna have a bright rug that will also open it up 
and contrasts really well against the dark colors. So I'm excited for that. But I don't know if you guys noticed, I think I told you, the ceiling is pink and I'm so obsessed with it every time I see it. It's so subtle, but so warm. I love it. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> I need to fill the car with gas. So guys, off of the, off of the, um, what's it called? Oh, they painted my door. Nice. But off of the butler's pantry, I mean, off of the kitchen, like here's the kitchen area, is the butler's pantry. And I'm excited to have one of these because it is like just amazing. <laughs> this has given me so many issues. I am so over this washing machine. When we got this house, they literally, it was still full of water. Like it, they didn't take a knob off to allow it to drain. And I didn't know that. It literally was this thing. They didn't take it off to allow it to drain. And it was just sitting with water. The emergency thing kept coming on. I was like, what the, what's happening? And now it like doesn't fully dry. I don't know if it does that on purpose or what, but we'll, we'll have to see. Um, okay. Let's make this box. Luke and I are done. We're done. Oh. I just tripped him. But we are pulling up to our favorite Mexican restaurant and we are going to celebrate finishing moving. I mean, we're almost done. There's just a little bit left, but we're going to Corazon. We love this place. I'm gonna get a margarita and some fajitas. It's gonna be the best. property is just real estate and personal property are the things that can be moved can be moved it can be you know the furniture the any electronics they're taxing you on the value of whatever you have hello everybody it is now monday march 25th and we had a very relaxing day yesterday. I did not vlog. As you guys know and have probably heard me say before, I am trying to actually practice the Sabbath and not do any sort of work on Sundays. So I literally woke up, went to church. We made some breakfast in the morning. We went to church, came home, and I napped. I laid in bed and napped. And I read some of my book and napped for like two hours. I was tired. And then we went and watched Dune 2 with some friends. It was amazing. And now I'm doing what I've been putting off. Taxes. Tax work for my job. For my company. And I'm doing some QuickBooks. And I'm hating every second of it. Because it's just not for me. This is not, not how my brain works. But 
we're doing it nonetheless. So that's what we're doing today. Just that kind of stuff. So went to the gym this morning, had a great workout, ran some errands. The painting is finished. It looks, it looks so good guys. Like there are no words. I can't wait to take you guys through an empty house tour. I'm filming that with Luke on Friday, probably. I'm gonna publish it this weekend probably or on by Monday next week. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy you're here. I really hope you enjoyed just bebopping around. This was just a very open vlog for me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends. Oh, this is your last time seeing this kitchen. So say bye. Bye, kitchen. Bye-bye.